Hi and welcome back to my channel. So first of all I took a plastic bottle of varnish. Uh, you can take any kind of bottle but this one was available so I started to use this one. And I will place it on top of a roughly cut shaped cardboard. Not complete round you can say it's an oval shape actually. Then I will place a heavy stone inside. You can put even sand or small stones as well. Then here I have cut some roughly shape of triangle to place it around the plastic bottle and the cardboard to give the foundation for a dress. Start to stick it with the help of hot glue. If you don't have this shape of bottle, you don't need to be worried. You can take any kind of bottle, then place on a round piece of cardboard, then start to work accordingly in the exact way I am doing. Here I have covered all the sides and it's roughly shaped. You don't need to be worried about this because we will after cover it with the fabric. So here I will use this paper tape to stick the cardboard on place just in case they come out. And this is not a good quality tape so I will use another one on top of this. So here I will stick it a little bit more tape to secure the cardboard pieces together. And here the same procedure again. I will place it on top of the plastic bottle the foil and then I will start to give her the shape of her body I mean I will start to give it the shape of her body the same thing I have been doing in my previous videos as well the reason I covered it in this way in lengthwise because the dress they wear is actually in this style so I used this bottle this was much easier to work then I will stick the foil with the hot glue on top of this bottle then I will use a little bit more foil on her waist to make the back part and the front part a little bit more thick Then I will cover the foil part with the help of paper tape or masking tape. And then I will stick the foil on top of her shoulders to make her neck. Then I will start to complete the rest of her body figure. And this one I actually loved it because it was something totally different than my previous uh, dolls or uh, whatever you call them. I actually loved it. Uh, I saw this painting on internet so I thought I have to make it a sculpture out of that painting. So I did it. Here I have covered her body parts, the top ones, with the help of paper tape. And here I have a foil piece which I will stick on the sides as you can see the dresses uh, they used to wear. They were having like this round curvy shape and fluffy prominent type. I actually exactly don't know the name of this dress. If anyone of you knows, please let me know. 
because uh, this was something new for me but I love those dresses and those movies then here I have some tissues and white glue mixed with water I will cover all of this with these tissues and then let it dry completely and here it's dry overnight then I will start to work yeah, and here you can see the shape of her body and dress completely then I will take today directly the clay instead of using the foil head I decided to change it a little bit it will be much more easier so I used the clay and then I started to stick it on her neck and again remember this is actually the air dry clay as I was writing or saying in my previous videos I am using the molding clay the reason was this it was written on the clay packet that this is molding clay okay so but it was getting hard obviously if it's not getting hard there is no use for me to uh, use this kind of uh, clay actually so it was actually a air dry clay so you can use any kind if I was saying wrong for that, sorry for this, but uh, it was a uh, air dry clay, but the name was written molding clay. And then I will make her bun, which I will actually cover it with the scarf type, cap type piece. But if you want, you can skip this step. You can just leave her hair prominent like this, the bun. So here is a piece which I will use for her top. But at last I will change the color of uh, this fabric because it was not getting matched with the dark brown skirt I used for her. So and I was out of uh, the materials and fabrics in these days. I'm not getting from anywhere in my area. So I used this fabric and I colored it according to the choice I want her dress to look like. So I will change the color at last for her uh, blouse actually and then I will keep giving the for her blouse by using more fabric to tie it and with the help of hot glue you can use any style of her dress you want obviously So this is the fabric I'm going to use for her skirt. By the help of needle and the thread, I will start to make the plates uh, on her dress from the top. Here I am done. And then I will stick it around her body. So uh, this time I decided to do not use the cement or uh, clay or something like this to make her dress more hard. So I decided to give it plates by needle. Then I will stick and stitch them from the front.
so here I have made the arms as well I will see how long I want the arms to be then according to the length I will start to apply the fabric around it So here I will start to cover the both arms with the same fabric. And then I will stick them and then I will give them the shape like she is holding the tray for serving tray This is a white ribbon which I will use on top of this just for designing. It's up to you totally whatever you want her dress to design. So I use this to cover her roughly shoulders because of the fabric, the arms I stick and just to give the, some design as well to her dress. and some more around her waist to tie it like a ribbon type long style ribbon or belt whatever Here I took a white fabric which I will cover her head to make a cap fit fabric. I will stick it with the hot glue. Here I covered it then I will take a black and white fabric which I will cut it a little bit more to stick on top. Here on top of the white fabric I will cover it just for uh, combination I liked it 
uh, that's why I'm using this fabric it's not must that you have to follow the same things I'm doing With the same black and white, I've made a bow as well, which I will stick here in front. And then I will color her face as well with the foundation. Here, now I will start to color her dress, I mean the top blouse only just arms and some part of blouse and some parts of ribbon as well just to give that blouse a complete shape here you can see I colored then here I have made already the cardboard tray which I will stick on her hands and then I made some small tiny glass cup and plates as well with clay which I will stick in on top of this tray as well here this is a cup and there is a glass and I made a plate with some fruit as well which I forgot to film actually while making the fruit or sticking the fruit plate on top of this tray but it doesn't matter you will know what I'm doing And here I have made her hands as well, which I will stick. Here you can see the tray has a plate and some fruits as well. Not fruits actually, she's only serving us some red apples actually. And here we are done. The lady is ready to serve us. I really loved her. I really enjoyed via while making this type of doll um, I think I'm gonna make some more different ideas um, and I hope you like these things totally different than the previous ones thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support keep watching keep subscribing do not forget to click on bell icon so you can get the notifications um, and bye for now